full moon. Starting to set. Still pretty dark out. dark out. Uh, it's 5.30 and I'm going to have some breakfast. Then uh, I'm all packed up. Let's come over here and show you. Uh, good morning. Leaving the campsite here at the I think it's called the Cortos, Cortos River, or Cort, Cortos Creek. Uh, pretty large creek. We're going to get down here where we have to cross it. And uh, when I was looking at it last evening, it looked pretty deep. And I was reading one of the one of the uh, comments and said that it was about neck deep. But they also said another comment said if you went about 100 to 200 yards downstream, then it was much more shallow. So uh, I'm going to check it all out and see what we're doing. But uh, we do have to get a little wet this morning. Uh, here we are. I'll show it to you. I don't think you can see it, but we should go straight across there. Uh, if you see that darker water, you see it's right here, it's pretty clear. And then it gets dark right there. Well, that's that's deep, but it looks like maybe right through there I can go and then curve back into it. I'm gonna try that. See how deep it is. Hope it's not more than waist deep. I'm trying to keep my uh, backpack out of the water. I did double everything up. Put it in a dry bag. Put it in a uh, put it in a pack liner. So uh, hoping that I can keep everything dry, but we're gonna get wet. Come on, let's go. It is deep. But I'm thinking maybe knee deep. If I go this way. Yeah. Er, a little brisk. Yeah, this is the way to go. Just a little bit diagonal from it, rather than going through that deep end. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Well. Here we are. We made it through. I'm uh, I'm wet up to oh upper thighs, but uh, pack stayed dry, which is that was my goal. cave but it is a big big mouth to this thing check it out I think this is called the narrows um, the path is pretty pretty narrow here and uh, it drops off pretty quickly down there, back down to the creek, and keeps going up past the back cave. And then another couple of miles, I think we get to the, the little narrows or the lower narrows. I'm not sure 
I'll look it up and let you know. But it's good morning. There's the creek right there. section uh, it's still climbing not too too huge of a, of a climb but it isn't up and uh, still finding these blazes but Ken check out these rock formations Okay, I've been traveling on this ridge for a couple of miles and uh, just first little glimpse. I wish I could show you more, but uh, it is beautiful out through there or in mountains. That's all the Ozarks and uh, you can see the fall colors are coming into the trees. Very pretty. I get covered in these stickers. I mean, they just, my pants and my shirt sleeves, and they're just a pain in the neck. You have to pick them off one at a time. This side of the ridge is pretty too. Uh, it's hard to see through the trees with all the leaves, but with the sun coming down, cutting across, that is a pretty view. Coming out of what they call the Little Narrows, finally opens up for a view. So I want to share this with you. There's my Exos 48. I'll tell you a little bit about this backpack. I gave an intro onto this Exos 48, and um, but you know you get it out on the trail and you, you find out things and you learn things. Some things you may like, some things you may not. Um, but you know I had I watched one review on this and um, good channel. But the guy that was reviewing it, he was talking about how that this was sort of an entry level because it's only 48 liters. I would take issue with that. You know, it, it's taken me several years to get down to where I can hike with less than, than 48 liters. Um, I think that takes a lot, of, a lot of effort when you start to learn that there are things that you just don't need. You know, that you, it might be nice to have, but you don't need them out on the trail and you can reduce the size of your pack. So I don't think this is an entry level pack. I think this is, would be a challenge uh, honestly, if if you were just just entering into hiking, uh, you might. I mean, it would be good for a couple of days, but for a longer hike, it would be a challenge to, to use this because you still want to carry so much more stuff than you need. We every one of us pack our fears, but it's just as you get more experience on it, you, your fear of the trail transitions into respect for the trail. Never lose your respect for the trail because you can get yourself into trouble. But I have taken this out and now I've got several miles on it and I am really enjoying it. It is probably the most comfortable pack that I've ever used. Um, it also, um, one of the things that my Osprey Atmos 65, it was a 65 liter pack, Besides that pack being heavy, another common complaint of it was that 
it was um, it squeaked <laughs> it squeaked and and yeah mine squeaked but I always thought well you know that's just sort of picky if, if people were complaining about that because there's sounds you know that stuff makes until I started using backpacks that didn't squeak and today as I'm hiking with this one all of a sudden I realize oh this is an osprey but it doesn't squeak now I have said before this system that they have that they this an osprey um, hallmark is here it gives you this this ventilation panel that holds the pack out from your back a little bit and uh, it is the most comfortable pack that I have used it has these very wide hip belts and um, when you set it up right the the hip belts will carry a lot of the weight and relieve your shoulders of it and then as your back your lower back starts to hurt you can loosen your hip belt up and tighten your shoulder straps up and this lets you tighten your shoulder straps up very easily it's this this strap right here this uh, just pull that and it tightens this this shoulder strap up um, so then you can shift the weight back to your shoulders these load lifters that it has at the top are very good to use and uh, I use them a lot one of the things I did and you see you start to to get on the trail with with gear you start to learn its little little things uh, little idiosyncrasies well this one I had been carrying it with the uh, the adjustable harness and all the way to the top because that was what was marked it's a 21 inch torso and that's that's the size of, of my torso however I was noticing today that the load seemed like it was just a little low on my hips and so I brought it down one notch and when I did that changed everything uh, the, the load was square on my on my hips and um, just made it all the more comfortable so that was a nice a nice discovery people have complained I've said before about these um, let me just pull this off for a second people have complained about these side straps these these are just uh, just tension straps that you can use to tighten things up with and um, I think they just overlooked because there's these double D rings right here these double D's there's these double D rings right here and you can take those and you can cinch those to where the lower side is loose and you can get in and out of your pockets for your water and the upper side is tight and it's holding in the top of your gear makes the whole backpack more stable uh, so as you get to know your gear a little bit it helps it has has this set of straps right here and uh, you can adjust those and pull those out to where they uh, will hold a chair a tent whatever you want it to hold a bladder of water uh, but I don't use them right now and I have thought about just cutting them off to save some weight right now I've decided against that because it may come in handy later I don't know I don't know if these would be big enough for a bear can if I used a bear canister or not uh, but I have a hike coming up that I will need to use a bear canister and before I take this pack I'll check it out and see if it works one of the things I did with this is when I heard the complaints about getting in the pockets for your water is I bought a system and this is this is called the one bottle system and I've been using it on this trip it's really really nice um, some things that I've learned is that it has this right here at the bite valve it has a valve that you open it up and then you can then you can drink from it but to keep it from spilling out you can close this valve and it closes it here so that it doesn't come out and spill all over you um, just a small thing but it's very ingenious and then you can see the tube just sort of 
comes in here. This has a, a little valve here that lets air go in and uh, without water pouring out. And that, another just very ingenious uh, part of this, and it works very well. Put this in my backpack uh, in, in the pocket, bring this across my shoulder, and then I have my water accessible. Use this for the last couple of days, and uh, once I got the hang of it, I have really enjoyed it. This, is, this has been really good. It keeps me hydrated, uh, and that's one of my problems is I tend to uh, not drink enough when I'm out on the trail, and I'll, I'll get dehydrated on it. But um, the one thing I don't like about this system is the attachment on your shoulder strap. It has a little clip that's supposed to to attach to these to these strap holders and uh, it just never never worked it kept coming off it kept coming off and then today sure enough I lost it out on the trail because it was just it just would come out you know um, Hilltop packs they use I think it's called a Z clamp uh, on their stuff and it's a it's a good attachment it is not coming off it, it snaps in place and it's not coming off that would have been good for this he does have another um, he does have another attachment that's a magnet that you snap you put on here and then there's the magnet but if it's the same base um, it, I don't know that that's gonna work any better so I'm going to look into it and probably get that that magnet so that it's there to, to hold and then you just just click it onto your, your strap. Made it to uh, my second night here at the Bass River Resort and uh, my plan was to hike from the Ozark Outdoors Resort here to the Bass River Resort and then tomorrow I'm going to be doing something totally different that I've never done before um, and I've I've paddled around a little bit, but I haven't gone on a longer uh, kayaking trip. So tomorrow, I'm actually taking a kayak from here, and I'm going to go back upstream 12 miles to the back up to the Ozark Outdoors Resort and get back to my car and go home, and that'll complete this adventure. It's been a lot of fun, uh, but I've... Uh, that's, that's what I'm, I'm sort of letting you know now what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Well, got here this afternoon, had uh, lunch here in the store. I just finished dinner. I had a pizza, and uh, now I'm getting ready to, to shut down for the day. But I had a few thoughts I wanted to share with you. Uh, one is that for this trip, you know, logistics is a lot of the challenge when you're doing a hike, especially when it's not a... An out and back or if it's you know it's it's not a circular route and uh, so, I, so I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this I was researching it and looking for a trail that would be longer than the average uh, trail that I could hike and camp on the trail if I wanted to do that and uh, then I saw this where you could hike and you could kayak all together so that was that was pretty exciting and decided that's going to try that well these two resort locations and resort you know there's really campgrounds is what they really are uh, these two places have made it just amazing they um, the staffs on both ends are wonderful uh, they had me down in a different campsite and when I got here today the lady that was helping me out she said yeah I think you'd like this campsite better and so she put me up here and uh, she was right this is a very nice place it's level ground and uh, away from from a lot of the of the activity everybody's nice and great but you know it's just a lot of it, it it's a campground so you've got a lot of people that are enjoying getting outdoors and that's wonderful to see but uh, I'm uh, stuck over here a little bit away from some of that and then tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock she said that uh, go up to the store and that they would bring my kayak here for me rather than me going out to where 
the cars typically pick them up and uh, they'd bring it here and I could put in right the creek it's just right behind me uh, just right over there and uh, now uh, I'm settling down for the night uh, it's just a, a beautiful beautiful evening and tomorrow get up and get on the creek get ready to go to the Ozark Outdoor Resort get my car check in with those folks Say hi and thanks for taking care of my car while I've been on this, this adventure. So, tomorrow we'll switch modes of transportation from my feet to my arms. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay on the path. God bless you.